would know. Yeah. Yeah. Rumor report. Rumor report. This is the rumor report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. Well, Allen Iverson, we told you about him not showing up for the Big Three basketball game in Dallas over the weekend. Mm -hmm. He issued a statement. He said, first and foremost, I apologize to Ice Cube and my Big Three family, my fans, and everyone disappointed by my absence in Dallas this past weekend. I have spoken with Ice Cube directly regarding the details of my absence. I will do my best to make up for this moving forward on the Big Three tour. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I just feel like a little false advertising has been going on. Does Allen Iverson actually play, or is he a coach? He has played a couple of games. yeah, okay. he, has, He's both. he played at the game we were at. He played, I think, at two, three games that I think they played seven. But uh, I guess it's how he's feeling, you know what I mean? Because he, he hasn't played in a long time, yeah. so he might, he might be injured, but he has played the, a couple of games. Because I was watching one on TV the other day, and it was like, Allen Iverson's not here today, but he's uh, so somebody is filling in for him as a coach. I was like, he's a coach? Well, that was probably that was last week when he wasn't there at all. Oh, okay. yeah, but he's a player coach. All right, now let's discuss Safari and love and hip-hop. First of all, Safari, by the way, had this to say about Mona Scott Young on Instagram. He said, when I had the world against me without even knowing who I was, you were the only person who gave me a fair shot. Didn't judge, didn't assume, didn't care who I was with or not. Had to be one of the darkest times in my life. Imagine helping build an empire, walking away from it with nothing, and having everyone shun you just because you're not the biggest star. I don't give a F what anyone has to say. Mona Scott, you are out here saving lives and entertaining millions across the world. How could you hate on a black woman for doing that? This is our Oprah whether you want to admit oh it or not. Take it how you want. It's fact. Side note, I'm booked and busy. It's not a fact, okay? I know she gave you a check, but modern-day Oprah, she is not. Mona Scott Young is the modern-day Mona Scott Young. Oprah is Oprah. Mona will never be Oprah until she gets first-name-only status, and we know exactly who people are talking about when they say Mona. I wouldn't compare okay. her no way to Oprah, but she is giving a lot of people opportunities, whether we like it or not. People that probably would be dead broke, Doing something illegal. Nobody disputing that, but you she's know, no Oprah. She's no, Mona, you know she's Mona I, Scott Young. I mm-hmm. thought about this, that Mona Scott Young and Nicki Minaj had that mixed Moscato that they were doing together. So I wonder if she let Nicki know, like, hey, I'm going to have Safari on Love and Hip Hop. Or if it was an issue ever. Just because they were business partners on that. Oh, and Nikki is so petty. I don't know. That's a good question. All I know is there's nowhere I can go in the world and say Mona and people won't say Mona who. But when I say Oprah... <laughs> they know over and damn it. Well, Safari also had a bad hair day on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood as well. Now, it turns out it looks like his hairline was, I guess, kind of like filled in or P- drawn painted in, on. painted on. Mm-mm-mm. A lot of people were commenting on it. Here's what he had to say about that. <laughs> Y'all killing me about last night's episode. Look, I got hair there. See? <laughs> Look, that day I had a bad haircut. The Stop dude, it. He tried Stop some it. that He said, hey, it's going to look good on Stop TV. It. And it didn't end up working like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Kendall, run up under your mother. You sound like a Kardashian trying to explain that their ass Yo, is real. That looks Stop so it. crazy. Look at look at the picture. We know it's not real, <laughs> bro. Revolt, you can look see. at the picture of Revolt. Safari out here, you, Safari out here using this woman's eyebrow pencil to draw his hairline in. Stop the it, okay? The funniest part is that I know Jeez. the people on set had to see what that looked like. And no one said anything. But everybody thinks it's like that. Adrian Broner, when he came up here, he had the same thing on his hair. Listen, man. My dermatologist, Dr. Natasha Sandy, can restore edges, hairlines. She's been trying to get me to do that. I'm not doing that. You, you got, look so crazy so stupid. with a hairline. You, gotta, you, you, gotta you can't it. come up in here with no hairline no. and then all of a sudden I know. have one. <laughs> And then lie to y'all and tell y'all, nah, I got. I always had hair there. <laughs> no. You got to let nature it take its so course, man. Crazy. God knows what he's doing. Most people with trash-ass hairlines have heads that are fit for baldies. I'm not going to be on TV with the painted on lace front. Well, in all fairness, when he did issue the statement and... He didn't have anything colored in in his hairline, so he was showing his hairline. Shut up. He got hair there. He was just trying to get his hairline a little further down. He was just trying to make it, like, pop it. Stop it so far. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that's your rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.